Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4. So, I'm going to tell you right now, everyone, this is the final episode in this campaign. I am frustrated with this campaign, and I'm basically done. If you'll take a look at the map, it, not much has changed. The U.S. has pushed in a little bit more, so has France, so have I, but... It's 1945. It's August 1945. And this is the Allies. Switzerland, it's, it's bad when even Switzerland has to join the Allies to help stop the Germans. Um, I'll be completely honest here. The Soviet Union is alive only because I tabbed over and gave them 30,000 guns and 10,000 fighters. This is ridiculous, in my opinion. Like, this is really, really ridiculous. Like, I don't know, but the Germans apparently still have, like, an extra million manpower in reserve. Yeah, they have an extra million manpower. I know it says deployed, but, okay, never mind, never mind. They have between 3 to 5 million manpower. On all adults serve, they have no problems with resistance. Because, for some reason, if you just do civilian oversight, it gives you almost no penalties. It means nothing. Don't ever, as I would recommend, never, ever, ever, and I've learned this the hard way, never, ever raise your resistance garrison, stuff like that, or territory management above civilian oversight because it's not worth it. You know what? I know you guys, I know I have complained that I didn't have military police, I didn't have armored cars, but I still have it. I have it on right now. Like, my cavalry divisions, they're like a third with armored cars, recon companies, military police. We have literally 32.2 suppression per target, yet I'm still having an extreme amount of resistance. Now, Goa, that's a little bit different, of course, in India, but holy cow as a preference or you know as advice to anyone who uses law resistance never ever 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 raise the resistance territory management level it's not worth it even then it's still not good enough you know why the united states was able to push into southern germany it's because i had to manually go in and control the american army to destroy at least a couple enemy German divisions. That's the only reason. That's literally the only reason. The German AI, unfortunately, in patch 1.9, point one, because I'm on the beta at the time of this recording, is still overpowered. They can still hold off the Americans, hold off on one huge front. They almost took out Norway, as well as the Soviet Union, if it wasn't for my intervention in giving them guns and planes. That's overpowered. And trying to garrison all this territory? Look, I... Look, I'm, I know, I'm frustrated. <sighs> it's annoying and stuff like that, but the Germans are still completely broken. They're still completely broken. So, you know what? I had a little bit of difficulty with the Nationalists before, but we, we're still able to won, win. But it's bad if I have to give the Soviets, like, guns, because they're out of manpower. Like, they're they're done. Like, they only, they're only exist because I gave them guns. They had no manpower on scraping the barrel. This is not good. This is imbalanced on historical. I, this is the only campaign I did for La, La Resistance on historical. Germans are a little too broken. A little too broken. But I want to finish this campaign off okay-ish. At this point, I really don't care. Just go ham. If you die, you die. If you don't die, you don't die. I'm tired of this, to be frank with you. Oh, my goodness. Even with tank divisions, like, it's been nuts. I did manage to make more guns. I mean, our supply is actually doing really well, except for armored cars. But, uh... And I was able to core all of this, which was really nice. But even then, it's, it, it was just too much. It, the, the resistance... It doesn't make too much sense in my mind. Like, sure, like... If you want to use... There's a modifier when you do resistance. Brutal oppression. Now, we don't have it, because, you know, we're anarchists. But... I tabbed over the Germans, they have the ability to do brutal rep oppression. Sure, you should get more resistance from that. But at some point, you've got to start killing the enemy populace to make sure that they don't rebel. Like, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like, yeah, you can have brutal oppression and stuff, but if you don't lower the enemy's population at all, it's not going to do anything. So don't ever raise your resistance or territory management levels. I know I keep saying that, but... Hey, I've learned. And I want to share that with everyone else out there. Because do not make the same mistakes that I've made. Because it's infuriating realizing that you've lost so much manpower and equipment for literally no reason. 
No reason whatsoever. It's still 39%. Even with our garrisons. Now, having low stability doesn't help. Which, honestly, Paradox should really look at that. Okay, so like, low stability, sure, for most nations. But for Anarchist Spain, I don't mind like taking a little bit of hit from stability. But there's a reason why we have 0%. We're Anarchists. So it, it would be one thing like 10% maybe. Occupied is in ex exile. That makes sense, 20%. But it, this still needs to be taken a look at. It's not good enough yet. It's really not good enough yet, in my opinion. But then again, who am I? I'm just some small channel on YouTube and bitch you, so. But yeah, like I said earlier, this is the final episode in this campaign. I just can't deal with this anymore. I'm really tired of being frustrated with this. Hmm, and the Americans are still not pushed through. The Amsterdam's back. Hmm, the Netherlands is, but this, they've been pushed back out again before. And we have low resistance, or lots of resistance in Aquitaine. Why? I've done everything I can. There's literally nothing I can do to stop this. I'm out of manpower once again. You know what? We're done making divisions. I'm done. There goes Belgium again. There's nothing you can do. Uh, take Amiens, kill these guys off if we can. That'd be nice. That'd be great. That'd be a lot of fun. You know what? Give me my manpower back. There's nothing I can do. You can, you can tell I'm done with this campaign. Logistics 1, that'd be good for supply issues, because we had quite a few supply issues before. And you know what? I'm, I am on Military Police 4. <sighs> Go and throw them on there. Military Police would be nice, but I really don't care. Do we need any more... We got plenty of equipment except for armored cars, which is nice. Armored divisions, go ahead and throw on something once we have enough army XP. That'd be good. That'd be nice. Some of these guys are completely encircled, which is muy bueno. But yeah. Look how strong the Germans are. They're still able to kick out Belgium and still rush into the Netherlands. Hmm. The Soviets are barely making gains, too. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I would have loved to have seen some sort of, like, division uprising, but even in, like, Romanian-held territories, like Stalingrad, how? How? How would Stalingrad not have any sort of rebels or Krasnodar or anything like that? It makes no sense, so. Go to Rouen so I don't get their... Uh, actually, you know what? Come here first. Uh, support the attack. But yeah, with this peace conference, I'm going to make sure that we take my fair share. I would have loved, look, I would have loved to have, like, an anarchist global world conquest. But it's not going to happen. I'm sorry, man. You gotta buy another... I would have loved to do it, but I just, I just can't do it. Ah, yes. Not enough armored cars. That makes sense, because I don't have enough. I'm trying to make more, though. We got plenty of guns. Just not enough cars. Uh, and we're getting it navally invaded. Great. That's alright, though. Nah, eh, Felipe's been wounded. No one cares. Everyone come that way. I saw the state transfer tool mod. I have these guys down here helping literally garrison this area so they don't rebel. Even though that should... Even if you're just, like, standing over a tile, you should still have some resistance. No, you don't even have... Huh. Now, that's interesting. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why is there no suppression? Look, I get it, like, the it, Paradox wants to reduce, like, lag and stuff, but that's not a smart idea. Like, <laughs> these guys don't reduce, you know, resistance by merely existing over there? That's not... No, 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 no. That's not good. That's really poor planning on Paradox's part. Um... Yep, like I said, the Germans are so strong, they can push these guys back out to sea. They even encircle these guys. Insane. Absolutely insane. You know what? Just do that. I, 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 I'm, pretty, I'm done. Like I said, I'm done. I apologize if I sound really negative, but I've been doing this for like, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour already. What? Why are you going south? Why, why are you going south? I just said, get rid of this.
Can you come to the line? Thank you. My goodness. But please, please, please learn from my mistakes. Because I'm learning right now. I'm never... With this whole Spy DLC, a lot of resistance, I'm really tempted to not play Vanilla Hoi 4 again. <laughs> I'm really not tempted to play this again. If it's going to be like this. Do not fight the Axis. If, you do, if you're Germany, whatever. If you're Italy, you'll probably do fine. If you play Fascist France, I'm sure you'll be fine. Or even the Nationalist Spaniards. But do not fight the Axis or fight Germany. Because even though they're weak here, I've had to manually cripple them. That's how bad it is. Buffing their enemies. Manual taking over the United States, which was insanely pathetic. Let's take a look at the casualties. So, Germany has lost 7 million. Casual 7 million, total 15 million-ish. A little less than that for the Axis. Okay, makes sense. The Soviets have lost 13 million. The Allies have lost 16.5. Not including China. Not including China. So, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Greece fell again. That wasn't that great. Yeah, I, I don't know what's up with the German manpower. Deployed army manpower. But it, it's a little too high. There's a problem when the Germans have an extra 4 million manpower. And these guys have like 12,000 on scraping the barrel. There's a, there's a slight problem. Slight problem there. You know what? Let's see what happens. Go ahead and have an anarchist uprising. Um. Hello? Where did the. Oh, okay. No, you have 90 more days. Okay, you know, whatever. We'll just see what happens. Because, you know, our focus said that we could, like, core, like, raise revolutions, which we just did, you know, 90 days. But, uh, allowing for the creation of anarchist uprisings, but for this one it said... Transfer and coring of any foreign controlled state that has sufficiently high compliance. I, you know, I get we don't have a high compliance right now, but... There's no decision. Like, where is it? 15% I know is not very high. But still. 23%? 24%? At least Spain... Iberia... Is good enough. And I did send both these... Both of my spies helped defend there. To help root out resistance. But, uh... Like, I guess I don't get decisions to do this? Okay, you know, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, and I do apologize for being pretty negative in this video. But it's just been too much, man. It's just been so much. Please, 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 take him out. You know it's bad when Anarchist Spain, or the Global Defense Council, has to take out the Germans and struggle greatly. That resistance, or suppression, not high enough. Wait, oh god, we have to garrison this area. Uh. Oh, I got military factories, huh? Hmm? Oh well. I really don't understand how the United States has not been able to push any farther than this. How? America is incredibly easy to play as. How? 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 Um, okay, British Parliament, do you want to debate intervention in there? Well, alright. And I will use a cipher for them very soon. Or at least relatively soon. Nuclear bombs, that would have been nice, but uh, I'm just not interested anymore. Radar, I guess.
And I will get more breakthrough. I want these guys to get up to the line. Maybe get a more planning bonus. That'd be good. Resistance to occupation continues to go up. Or does it? 58.30. Happy 1946 on historical Y4. Let's see. State victory points. That makes sense. You know, intelligence operations. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well. Alright. Let's try it again. Let's try another attack. Let's reveal the cipher and see what happens. Go ahead. And... Okay, please come on. Thank you. Thank you. Go right on ahead. We should be at more than enough breakthrough to break to Berlin. Oh, hello. Oh, what are you guys doing? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good enough. And just make some convoys. Please. Oh, yeah, we won't have time to even do the anarchist uprising. This is bad. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, they go. Oh, South Africa. Wait, hold on. South. Okay, well, I guess South Africa's gone. Hmm. Well, whatever. All right, USA. How much, What are your stats like right now? You know, we're not allies. I'm not in any faction. Let's see. You have a third of a million manpower, maybe. You have probably around at least 600 factories. You have some divisions. You've got a couple of divisions. Navy's looking pretty good. you got a lot of planes, I'd assume. But you still can't beat the Germans. How? <laughs> how? Please please let me know how. Uh, oh, actually, let's go back down here. Raise your guys up by quite a bit. Logistics 2. Let's get Logistics 3, because I already threw them on here. Nice. Armor divisions are probably going to need them. That'd be good. Coasts? Definitely don't need it. Brigada? Eh, those are okay. Oh, well, I guess I got rid of all my divisions that were using that, that template. Let's make as many technical bombers as possible. That's so bad. I might... War score participation is only 10%. Oh, boy. Mm, oh, Weimar. And what place has high resistance? Belgium. Why does India want to rebel? Like, come on, man. It's an occupied... Why can't we core that? Hmm. Oh well. Recon 4. Engineers, because I've given up. Oh, do we... Oh. Hold on. We're building a nuclear bomb because we found a nuclear reactor uh, somewhere here. Hold the phone. Uh, Pittsburgh? No, there's a lot of refineries up here, though. Seriously, who's got the nuclear reactor? Did I make one? I don't think I made one. Imagine if you could sabotage nuclear reactors. That would be absolutely wild. I found it! Turingen. Uh, How many more days until we have anarchists? We have about two weeks. Let's keep pushing a little bit more. Because I think we still have our cypher going. Oh, no, maybe it's over. It's over. Hmm... I want to see Anarchist Uprise. So, you know what? Give my guys a little bit more time. Do something like that, you guys. Come up here. Come up to Denmark. Go to Copenhagen. Yeah, there's like no one up there. Nope. Stupid Brits. You can't even win the war yourself. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. And their Soviets are still dying. This is even worse than my Portugal game. Oof. Well, at least got a little bit of manpower left. Uh, what about the Germans? Tons of manpower. Armor's looking pretty good. Let's get some more uh, planning for our guys here. 
and watch and see if anarchists actually rise up. Hey, look, a couple divisions that I get to control for some reason. Oh my gosh, they're, oh. Why do I control them? I don't want to control them. This is, that's not cool. I don't want to control these guys. I don't really care about these guys. They mean nothing to me. Just being honest here, but this doesn't make any sense. Just go kill yourselves off. I don't care. Just throw them out of here. Who cares? Doesn't even matter. Are you are you seriously not even going? Like, please do something. Please move. Okay, don't move then. Don't do anything. Wait, no divisions? What do you mean, no divisions? Oh, look! Liberation of... Warsaw? Really? So now we have to capitulate Romania. Oh my god, we have to capitulate Romania now? Oh my god. Please, allies, for the love of god, do something worthwhile with your lives. Please kill off the enemy. Please kill them off. Can I core any territory here? Because if not, I will just end the episode annexing these guys so we can get the peace deal. So I, I'm done. I am so done with this. Please kill them off. For the love of God, please. Oh, look at these guys are trapped. Alright, well, we got some anarchists who are just kind of hanging out. Uh, I don't want supply problems. I really don't. So, I would say garrison this area. But, uh, Paradox says no. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, well. I would love to see... I just at least want to see the decisions that you can take to core enemy territory, start uprisings. Well, we already saw the uprising thing, but... Uh, just a core territory. And please just kill off Romania. Please kill off Hungary. Or, like I said, I'm just going to straight up annex them. Because we don't have access through these... I, these lands. I don't know why the United States took all this. That makes no sense. Oh, wow, holy cow, that, that gave a lot of territory back to the uh, Soviets. Except for Leningrad. Why did... How did you... What? Uh, Herr Hitler, how'd you do that? Joey Stahl, um... Oh, no. Now you got all that manpower back, after you got all your population. You know what? Look at Italy, it's really bad. So the only one left still is Romania. And they're not falling fast enough. You know, I'm going to use console commands. I'm going to tag over the Soviets. Let's see what happens. I'm going to have them annex these guys. Just do that. I don't care anymore. Come on. Just annex them. That should make us go to a peace deal then. Oh, Greater Hungary. You know, that's okay. I really don't care. That's the Soviets' territory now. Um, bump us up to 13%. Come on, please kill off Hungary. For the love of God, just kill them off. Take Cluj. You're so close. You're so close. We'll be okay. <laughs> Italy's still here. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Look how weak, how small Poland is. Why did the United States get Prussia? Or, you know, Ostpoisen? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. High resistance. Free France. Pfft. Free France. Please. Can I have... Oh, well, we need some more uh, political power, I guess. But can I have, like, core populations now or something? It's 1946, guys. Just give it up, man. Come on. They're close. They're so close. 94% of the way there. And there's nothing I can do. 98% of the way. Great. I want to say almost any second now they're going to capitulate, but... I could still be wrong. Uh, well, Gary, are you in the Axis? Oh, they are in the Axis. I didn't know that. <clears throat> oh, good. They lost it. Good. It's done. It's done. For the love of God, it's... How does Mongolia have more score than me from the Soviet Union? Yeah, no, I'm taking Vichy France. 
There's no way I'm going to give this away. And you know what? That's why I'm using even State Transfer Tool Mod. I'm not giving up all this territory. Alright, they really don't want me to take anything. Honestly, 13% is nowhere near the amount that I really deserve because... <gasps> it was up to me to take these guys all out. And just, yeah, give me all of France at this point. Um, I know I have player like peace conferences on, but still... Alright, oh, let's see what happens. You know what? United States... You can have all this part of these guys. Why is not Luxembourg in the thing? Luxembourg was taken over. Oh, god dang it. Let the United States just take care of this part. And we'll give uh, the UK Italy. Just eat up Germany. And Austria. There you go. Uh... Excuse me, I'd, I'm just going to take all states. It doesn't matter. And then... UK. You really didn't do very much, did you, UK? Good. I'm taking the rest of Free France. Belgium? Oh, they had colonies. Yeah, just give them, give it to the, these guys. There you go. What the heck? Huh. Soviets, you deserve a little bit... Well, you really don't deserve anything. You should have just died there, but whatever. Uh, Bulgaria? You can have Bulgaria. And Hungary. Uh, okay, you don't want Hungary? Okay, whatever. Take Slovakia. See if I care. Mm. You know what? You guys will get this part of... Oh, maybe not. God dang, holy crap, come on. Like, I had to do so much for nothing then. I can't take Saxon. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's give uh, the UK Iceland as well. Let's give America the rest. Germany for the most part. And who cares? <laughs> I don't care about Czechoslovakia at this point. Let them all take it. Figure, let them figure out what they're going to do with it. Alright, let's see the peace deal. This is going to be disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I n yeah, I do. I do want all of France. Hey, look, France is dead. Good. There should be zero resistance now. Let's see. Do I get the option to spawn rebels in enemy's territory? Let's make sure we get everyone over here. That'd be good. We all cross. Resistance suppression. Very nice. Civilian thingies, my bobbers. Cameroon. Well, we could use... Oh, no, look at that. Resistance is going down there, but where else? Dominion of India, resistance is going how? That's going down a little bit. Free France? That's going way down. Now, I think the game lied to us. Now, or at least I haven't discovered it. Because our focus is, say, Global Defense Council. Allowing for the transfer and coring of any foreign controlled states that has sufficiently high compliance. Like, is that a decision? That might be a, maybe a decision? Because I know 23% isn't much, 18% isn't very much. 18... 18... I don't see any way for us to core it. Which really, it's kind of disappointing. They say we can core stuff, but at least in this campaign, maybe my game's glitched? Maybe I'm just wrong. But anyways, um, I'd hope to see that maybe the Germans can... Hold on. I'm sorry, Luxembourg. But there you go. 
You did nothing. And you were in the war, too. But that's pretty much my campaign for Anarchist Spain. Uh, I'm, uh, I'll be honest, I, I, like again, I apologize for being super negative in this video. I usually don't try to be like this, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, but... This was frustrating. This was incredibly frustrating, but... For some reason... I think my game is bugged or something. I don't know. We have no other ways to, like, instigate things in enemy territories. There's no way for us to core places. Or even look at the option to core things like in Old World Blues. Like in Old World Blues, you get enough political power where you can core stuff. If you play as Anarchist Spain, there's no way for you to core stuff. Actually, let me double check. Obviously, Africa... Actually, actually, we have 42% compliance in Africa. That's not bad. 51%. Is this a core state? It's not a core state. 1946 Imperial Conference. Uh, I just want to explore. Since, since we're done here, pretty much. I, I see nothing. I see literally nothing for this. The seeds of revolution. Coring of any foreign-controlled states that have sufficient... Coring foreign-controlled states. Well... Don't know why it's not there. There's nothing here or there. Occupy territories, garrisons, compliance, resistance. I'm gonna go by resistance. I didn't realize that we had that er this earlier. Compliance is not looking bad, but yeah, actually, there's a lot of compliance in Africa. Tons of compliance. I love Africa. Wow, 63% in uh, uh, Madagascar. That's great. But there's no core button. There's literally no core button. But oh well. You know what? Like I say, guys, I I, I am sorry that I was pretty negative in this video, but, you know what, even though I was pretty negative, I appreciate you guys coming around, watching me struggle as the CNT FAI when we spawned against the Nationalists, the Republican government, we went to war with the Axis, and we struggled, and now the Soviet Union wants to kill everyone else off. But anyways guys, thank you very much for watching, if you somehow like this video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new I guess, and I will see you tomorrow in... A different campaign and not playing as the global defense council thanks for watching guys have a great rest of your day